And first alert meteorologist Jamie Ertle out the door Tuesday morning, mild 45 from the borough, 49 south of the Altamaha, Jessup, Alma, Baxley, Hazelhurst, 49 Tybee, 48 Richmond Hill and Savannah and Beaufort. Clouds around and we're tracking rain. How much rain in the next 48 hours? Well, we're looking at anywhere between not a lot. That's the GFS from less than a tenth of an inch to maybe up to a third of an inch in some locations. So I'm thinking about a quarter of an inch of rain and that's going to happen tomorrow. So here's the setup. We have a cold front well to the west. Some wintry stuff in Tennessee trying to make its way into the metro Atlanta area. They're under a winter weather advisory and we've got to deal with some showers coming in from the Gulf. That's why it's going to be warm for us. But once this cold front passes, we will get bitterly cold with those wind chills. Fair and fair, first alert live radar on a slow sweep. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the hourly and we're going to be dry through the overnight, but cloudy and warm. This is eight o'clock. A lot of us at the bus stop already heading out to work, and I think most of us will be dry, but it changes quickly as that moisture streams in from the southwest. So low country dry at eight back to Effingham, maybe even Savannah, maybe a couple of sprinkles, but this moisture streams in from the southwest and pushes off the coast. So a lot of us north of 16 will actually stay dry from that batch of rain. Then the cold front, a little bit of a dry slot there will produce more chances of rain through the early afternoon hours and before sunset, we're going to clear it out and get downright cold and the cold comes in quickly. This is midnight. We're already 35 feeling like 28. So a hard freeze for Wednesday morning and these are our forecast lows, not the feels like 22 Metter, 22 Statesboro, 22 Estill, 24 Jessup, 27 Hinesville, Richmond Hill, Savannah, even below freezing for the beaches. So we're all going to have a hard freeze. So remember, protect the pets, plants. I think you should drip the pipes this time and make sure you're being safe with a space heater. This is what it may feel like Wednesday with those winds. and They'll be out of the west, it may feel like 14 in the borough, 15 Glenville, 14 Baxley, 15 Jessup, 18 Savannah, and even 20s along the immediate coastline. That is frigid. Back to Tuesday, 60% chance of rain, struggling to reach the middle 50s for some locations like Statesboro 53, Ringan 57, Bluffton 57, Jessup 52, and Richmond Hill 57. Your first alert forecast, 48, 57, maybe some sunshine by sunset, 2749 for our Wednesday, even cold on Thursday. Now we're holding off on a first alert because we don't think many of us will feel those teen like temperatures on Thursday because the winds will slack off. It'll be 60 in the afternoon. A very pleasant Friday, but another dry but strong cold front moves through, leaving us 2846 Saturday with wind chills in the teens. Look at Sunday morning wind chills with an actual morning low of 24. We could have more wind chills in the teens. Hopefully the winds slack off Sunday. And so what you see is what you get 23, but still that is cold. So a few hard freezes to protect the pets, plants and pipes and be heat safe during this season. Over the